So a big thing is trying to make me smile. So happy things make me stop for a while. But so. Setting up for a night of slumber. This is my place where I'm going to be spending the night tonight. Look at this. It's beautiful. If I had my RV here, this would be a great place to camp out. But there's not one RV in the parking lot, only a couple trucks. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A vlog that happens at least a couple times a week. Not not always daily, but it, it happens a couple times a week. What I wanted to talk about today is not for adults only, I mean, but close. So what happened was, I, the other day, about two days ago, I was delivering a load and there was a security. You have to clear security sometimes to go into a property to get unloaded. And one of the security guards ran up to me. It was odd. He just walked up to my truck and he just tapped on my window and he goes, hey, can I ask you a quick question? I go, yeah, sure. And he goes, what's the strangest thing you've ever seen out here on the road? And I said, well, shoot, I've been driving for like 30 years. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff out here on the road. And then it got me thinking, what an incredible subject for a daily vlog. Then I also started thinking to myself, wait a second. What if younger ears watch my vlogs? And some of the strangest stuff I've seen is more along the lines of adult content. Because... You'll be surprised what you see looking out of your driver's window down into cars as they pass by. A lot of it should not be seen by younger eyes. A lot of it shouldn't be seen by older eyes because there's crazy stuff out there. So, if you are freaked out by adult, not, I mean, I'm not going to curse, but if you're of, of, of adult situations... Go ahead and stop watching the vlog now. You, I, don't, I don't need the retention value of you guys watching the whole video if you get offended easily. But I'm going to be honest and tell you some of the strangest things I've seen on the road. At least five things I have written down that I have seen over the years that will shock most people. It's shocking. Well, kind of. Thing I'd like to say that is the craziest thing is a cat a cat that just bounces around like a monkey but no I, I've seen crazier and on today's list I have five with a bonus one not sure which is gonna be the bonus one it could be any of the six I just think it five and a bonus one come here whoa God, she's buzzing around so crazy. We just parked, so she's all happy to be parked. I think she'd be happier in the RV running around, though. Come here. Oof. Stupid. Stupid. I'm name-calling. I'm name-calling you. All right, so, in no particular order... Come here, you. Look at you. Okay, you stay calm. You stay calm while I'm recording video. You just, you just lay here. Okay, let's start off with one of the videos I recorded. It has to do with spirits and ghosts, N not black cats. But it would, it, it would, you would have been perfect there. Don't slap me in my face. I know what you're planning. So on one of my videos, Yeehaw Junction, Florida, one the oldest, not the oldest, but it was the very first brothel in the state of Florida. So all the Florida crackers, which were known as cowboys, but they called them crackers because back in the day, going through the scrub brush stuff like that to get the cattle moving, they'd crack their whips. So they called them Florida crackers. 
well, they they used to frequent that place. Uh, lots of deaths happen there. Lot, lots of mysterious deaths. You can go back and, and watch my video of Yeehaw Junction, Ghost, and stuff like that. And the very first one I ever recorded there, I was coming out of the restaurant, and I was going over to the rooms. There was two deaths in the hotel rooms. One guy committed suicide. Boom. Another guy was laying in bed, or laying on the sofa or something, smoking a cigarette, fell asleep. Well, you know what happens. Things catch on fire. He burnt. The only thing that was burnt in the room was the sofa, and he was dead. The rest of the room was fine. <clears throat> but I went over to, ex I wanted to talk to the maids, see if there was any maids in the area that would let me into the room. No maids, nobody around. It's the desert inn. It's desolate there, nobody there. So I walk up to the room. The door opens by itself on camera, opens by itself, dead calm outside. And then I go inside and I ask, Anybody in here? I thought the maid might be in there and she left the door cracked open a little. Nope, nobody in there. So I shut the door, pull it, shake it a couple times, and I walk over to the restaurant to tell them, hey, that, that door opened by itself. I don't know if you, you guys just, if the maid left the door open or not. As I was walking away, the door opened again by itself after I just shut it and closed. It was odd and I captured it all on tape. That was one of the oddest things I've seen out here on the road. Pretty incredible. You're gonna knock your food over. Did you? You just did. Oh God. I get so angry because she just doesn't care what she does. She just bounces around, knocks stuff all over the place. I'm getting angry at you. I, I, I don't think she cares. Number two. What was that? Oh, no. Notifications. Number two, Rome, Georgia. Now, I think it's called the Constantine Wolf or something like that. Downtown City Hall, Rome, Georgia, there is a statue of a very scary werewolf looking thing with a bunch of nipples on it breastfeeding human babies. Now, that, that's pretty freaky. Very odd, something I've seen out here on the road. Now, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure if that's considered in the realm of being a driver and seeing things out here on the road, or if that's just stopping to see roadside attractions and stuff like that in roadside America. But I found that pretty odd, so I had to stop and get a video of that and, and record a daily vlog. So, Rome, Georgia, the Constantine, I believe it is, Wolf, I'm trying to get all the little things out of the way before I get to the adult-oriented adult stuff. Joplin, Missouri, about three years ago, or maybe a little bit longer than that, maybe five years ago. It, it was a while back. Back when the HTC Evo 3D telephone, the telephone that could record 3D video, was out. I don't remember what year that was. But I was in Joplin, Missouri, at the TA truck stop, and sirens started going off all over the town it was craziness people running inside the truck stops and running inside the garage bays and i was going "Ooh, those must be tornado sirens indeed they were we got hit with three massive tornadoes in joplin missouri that day i was one of the idiots standing out in the parking lot trying to record video with their cell phones of these tornadoes I figured mine would be amazing because they'd be in 3D because I had the HTC Evo 3D. The next day, uh, come to find out, there were, all the truck stops were gone. They they got eaten up by the tornado. Numerous houses, people. It was in, it was an insane time. Luckily, the TA truck stop I was at, no damage. But that that could be considered out here on the road. Things that you, crazy stuff that you see on the road. Number three, tornadoes in Joplin, Missouri. That, that was that was pretty crazy. Number four. Okay. Getting into the macabre one more time. This will be the last normal crazy thing I've seen out here on the road. Downtown Tampa, little Circle K gas station that has truck parking. 
I, I, I didn't have enough hours to get home after I delivered my load in Tampa and I lived, lived like an hour away. So I got stuck having to take my 10 hour break in Tampa. No big deal. Don't mind. I love Tampa. So I pull into the Circle K truck stop. Back in, there's about seven trucks all in a row. None of them had crazy cats, I believe, though. Right, right next to me was a FedEx truck. No sleeper berth, no nothing. I didn't have a bedroom or nothing like that. Just, it was one of those day cabs. So you have the two seats with the steering wheel. Nothing back. Hey. Boy, your claws are tearing up my seat. I gotta figure something to put over the back of my seats. I got that fake leather in her claws. Stop. Stay down, please. Stay down off there. I'm gonna have to put something up there because her claws, my seats are brand new and they definitely don't look brand new anymore from this bouncing around and jumping. I'm not mad at you, just stop. Okay? Mount. Mount. So uh, there was a FedEx truck, like I said, one of those little two-seater trucks, and the guy was taking a nap over the steering wheel, that, or so I thought. So I back in right beside him, and I'm crashed out. I'm kicking back, watching some TV and everything like that. Six hours, seven hours later, I hear all this talking outside my truck, and I look out my front window, and there's paramedics and everybody else and they're putting that yellow tape that crime scene tape around my truck around the FedEx truck and I'm, I'm going what's what's going on so I get out my driver's door and the paramedics are saying uh, uh, yeah the guy beside you died behind the steering wheel so I look out my passenger window and the guy that I thought was sleeping over his steering wheel no he was deceased and they said he's probably been there for about two days in Florida heat you jump up on the back of that chair one more time I need a squirt bottle that's what I need yeah if I had a squirt bottle you'd be soaking wet right now you try and get mad at her you, you can't get mad at her. She's, just, she's cooped up in this tight little place cats are meant to go out and wander don't do it. Don't jump on the back of the seat. All right. So now if you are young and get offended easily, the next two things are the craziest things I've seen out here on the road. Three things. I'll make it because the sixth one is a bonus. All these are pretty crazy. Okay. Let's go for the least of the craziest. Uh, as truck drivers, back in the day, we used to get flashed a lot of times. Girls, cars would drive by, women would raise up their shirts, and they'd shake it. That that, that means if, if girls do that, you're supposed to toot your horn. So that's, that's it's, it's a thing of the past that doesn't happen much anymore. But if you're in the right areas, it still happens. It just so happened one time, it was in New Orleans, and I was on I-10 going through, and this Trans Am, this Smokey and the Bandit type Trans Am, the black ones with the gold bird on the front and everything, was passing by me, T-top, and I swear this lady must have been 80, 85 years old. She gets up in the passenger seat, and she lets her things flap in the wind and doing this so I honk my horn and shaking it like there's no tomorrow so that 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 I, that was kind of fun whoever whoever has her as a grandma is a lucky person because your grandma if, if you see this video and that was your grandma your grandma is fun but yeah that that was pretty pretty nuts along the same lines as that now now we're getting into the two the last two. I was in San Bernardino, California. I don't know how I'm going to make this non-X rated, but this was something I've seen. And uh, I've seen it more than once, but this one really stood out because the car stayed right beside my driver's door about 60 miles an hour for about four miles. Just stayed with me. 
about two o'clock in the morning going through San Bernardino, California, uh, you know, leaving Ontario and, and going up towards San Bernardino, uh, for about four miles, five miles, this little white Honda Civic looking car, you know, one of those little cars, uh, was driving, had its dome lights on like I have on in here in the passenger seat there was this girl that looked kind of like um, have you have you ever seen uh, Scream Queens on television Chanel number one kind of looked like her so if you ever seen Scream Cream Scream Creams Queens um, it looked like Chanel number one <coughs> and she was no clothes, nothing on, not totally bare, bare, nothing. In the passenger seat, reclined all the way back. The back, the seat was leaned all the way back, so she's basically laying down in this little baby car with the lights on, her boyfriend driving, and her boyfriend, I don't know if it was one finger, two finger, or three finger, I, I don't know, because... I, I couldn't see. I just seen his hand down down there going real fast like this and she was laying back doing the whole X-rated rubbing the breast thing and like an ecstasy type thing. And while he's driving, controlling his car with one hand, doing this with another hand and having her just going all psycho, that was one of the craziest things I've seen. See, I told you this is kind of adult-oriented stuff. You see weird things because you sit like 12 feet up in the air, and for some reason, cars like to show you what's going on in, in, in them. And, you know, they'll, they'll pull up right alongside you. Make sure you watch. Coming up to my last thing, men and their penises. So, kind of gone are the days where you see the stuff like I've seen in California or the at least once or twice a week thing of girls flashing to get you to honk their horns. Those days are kind of gone. Times have changed a little bit. So this only happens in, in certain areas. It happens like in North Carolina, Virginia, Alabama, and places like that. Usually in pickup trucks. Have you ever seen the, the pickup trucks in those decals that go on the back windows of the pickup trucks that are kind of white tape looking like you'll see the duck dynasty things and stuff like that and it's that kind of stuff and it'll be it'll be like lately it's been machine guns so there'll be one of those stickers of like a machine gun that says like we're a fully automatic family or something and may gay hashtag may gay or whatever that crap is i don't know but it'll have like a hashtag sticker of that and the pickup truck will pull up alongside you and the guy's got his willy in his hand doing similar to what that guy was doing with his girlfriend just to himself and then they'll bend down to look to make sure you see them and then they'll stay with you for a minute or two and then move on to the next vehicle and that happens at least in certain states usually like like I said Virginia West Virginia Alabama, Mississippi, North Carolina the most and it's 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 usually those vehicles that have those rednecky things on them. So it, it if it's just a normal vehicle, you usually don't have to worry too much, but if you see a vehicle that says hashtag Maggie or Maggie whatever mega thing and and usually a a gun on it or something like that, I'm not kidding. I'm not. If you ha if you're one of those people and you don't do that stuff, great. But as an over the road truck driver, I see that a lot, and it's usually those people. I I don't know why, but I I long for the days of the 85 year old woman flashing me their boobs. That's that's all I gotta say. Anyway, that's about it for today's daily vlog. That is my list of the strangest things I've seen over 30 years of driving. Now there's a lot more, but a lot of it's a lot more adult oriented stuff. And uh, I'd really have to create a, a, a good list of the craziness because I, I used to drive in California a lot. <clears throat> Out there it's mostly women doing stuff. You go to 
like I said, the Virginias, anywhere from Alabama towards West Virginia and stuff like that, you see the guys doing that stuff, and um, it's it's just craziness. It's it's a crazy world out there, and we live in it. All I can say is enjoy it, keep everything as memories. Some stuff you want to forget, but it, it's etched into your brain. You can't forget it. So until the next time, guys, I love you all. If you like these videos, please remember to like, comment if you want to, and you can click that button down below or either on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you'll see that little image of me at, at Marceline, Missouri at the Walt Disney Museum. You can click that and uh, subscribe. Click that little bell notification if you want to get notified of when videos get uploaded, and I will talk to you on the next one. As I s decide to spank this cat, Spank, I'm going to spank you, monkey cat. That didn't almost sound right. Peace out, everybody.